Good. See, it's little things like that. Getting the dog up on a chair, getting your dog to walk around a little balance beam, getting them around different noises, such as a shovel, such as... Ladies and gentlemen, you know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. We're gonna teach you guys the truth about dog training and getting ready for the 4th of July. Big booms, big fireworks, barbecue, a bunch of people, and everything else. All right, so the truth here is, is you guys need to build confidence in your dog. And how do I do that? Or, and how do you do that? It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You start by teaching your dog the basics, teaching your dog how to be around loud noises. And we're gonna teach them that it's all right. So how do we do this? We're gonna grab this bucket full of rocks, all right? When we shake it, it makes a lot of loud noise. So we're gonna shake it, give your dog a treat. Shake it, give your dog a treat, and give your dog a treat. It's seriously that easy. We're building confidence, okay? Fluffy, down, good. See, we want your dog relaxed. We want your dog to, yes, they're gonna be a little bit startled. It's a noise, what do you expect? You, If you didn't expect a loud boom, like a firework to go off, you're gonna be a little scared, but we don't want your dog to run away and be scared. So we prepare them before the 4th of July happens. Now, sometimes you'll be able to do that with your dog. If not, just shake it once, give your dog a treat. If shaking it more than a couple seconds startles your dog still, then uh, go back down, go back down, do it. Treat, treat, okay? He's a little bit uh, trained a little more, so you'll see a little more advanced stuff today. That was just one scenario of how you could prepare your dog for the awesome 4th of July. Another one is, is getting your dog prepared with different noises. Yes, that bucket right there had rocks in it, and it makes crazy noise Noise that's different from a shovel, a metal shovel on, a, on the ground. Good boy. See, we're preparing our dog for all sorts of noises, and don't be scared with any sort of noise that may happen. Some dogs don't like clapping, so... Give your dog a treat. See, I'm not using a reward command, all that stuff. I'm just going back to the basics for some of you guys out there, all right? Good. Get the shovel here. The top of the shovel makes different noise than the bottom. Good boy. Look, I'm sure my neighbors hate me for this, but hey, it's required. You gotta act like a fool, make loud noise, and get your dog prepared for serious scenarios that may happen in life, all right? Get your dog prepared so nothing bad ever happens to your dog. Get your dog prepared for anything and everything. Good boy. Yeah? All right, let's have a little fun. Let's put this right here. There, come here, Fluffy. Build that confidence up. Good, stay. Good, see we're building confidence. Come on, Fluffy. Wait. Off. Good. See, it's little things like that. Getting, getting your dog up on a chair. Getting your dog up on a chair. Getting your dog to walk around a little balance beam. Getting them around different noises, such as a shovel, such as a bucket full of rocks. Maybe combining the, combining the two. Good boy. 
Oh, that about hit me and we're all up and hit him. There you go. See, it's it, all I'm trying to tell, teach you guys, to tell you guys, the truth is, is you have to build that confidence in your dog, okay? So when those loud noises go off, it doesn't scare them, scare, and they start running away, and something bad happens to your dog, because we all know we don't want that to happen to you and your little fluffy companion. So until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle, teaching you guys how to prepare your dog for the 4th of July. See you guys on the next video. Give me a high five, buddy.